Hi students, as a part of polymers, today I am going to explain you about the one of the preparation or synthesis of uh, the most important uh, polymer which is polyvinyl chloride which is also called as corrosive and it is most popularly called as PVC it is most popularly called as PVC now polyvinyl chloride is a polymer so since polyvinyl chloride is a polymer so definitely what is the expected monomer of it so the expected monomer is the vinyl chloride now since the expected monomer is the vinyl chloride first and foremost we have to know what is the structure of the vinyl chloride now how to get the structure of the vinyl chloride so what you will do is just you will memorize the structure by writing it on the paper for 10 to 15 times there is no need to memorize any of the structures for this so how we can obtain the structure of vinyl chloride. It is very easy to get the structure of the vinyl chloride. So do remember that this particular vinyl chloride is the derivative of ethene. It is the derivative of ethene which is formed by replacing one of the hydrogen from one carbon of ethene by one chlorine atom. So what is ethene student? CH2 double bond CH2. CH2 double bond CH2. It is the ethene. Now, just I am elaborating the structure as CH2 double bond CH H. CH H. Now, what, what, what I have done, just, just I have elaborated the structure of ethene. Instead of CH2 double bond CH2, what I wrote? CH2 double bond CH H. If this particular H is replaced by chlorine, then we will get the structure of uh, vinyl chloride. So, accordingly, what is the structure of vinyl chloride? Uh, CH2 double bond CH. So, this hydrogen is replaced by chlorine. So, in this manner, you have to remember the structure, but don't uh, mug up the structures too. Don't mug up the structures or memorize the structure by writing it for 10 to 15 times on the paper. It is very easy to get the structure of the vinyl chloride. So vinyl chloride is the derivative of ethene which is formed by replacing one hydrogen from one carbon of ethene by one chlorine atom. That's it. So CH2 double bond CH2 is ethene. Just elaborate the structure as CH2 double bond CH H. If this one hydrogen from one carbon of ethene is replaced by chlorine, then it is nothing but the vinyl chloride. We call it the vinyl chloride. It's very easy to get the structure. Now, the polymerization of the vinyl chloride results in the formation of polyvinyl chloride. Right. But the vinyl chloride is not commercially available for us. So since vinyl chloride is commercially not available for us, so what we need to do, first and foremost job uh, during the preparation of polyvinyl chloride is the preparation of uh, vinyl chloride. The first and foremost job of preparation of polyvinyl chloride is uh, the preparation of the vinyl chloride as it is not commercially available in the market right so for the preparation of uh, this polyvinyl chloride we have to go with two steps step one is the preparation of the vinyl chloride step two is the polymerization of the vinyl chloride resulting in the formation of polyvinyl chloride so first let us go with Go with the preparation of a vinyl chloride. Step one is preparation of vinyl chloride. Step one is preparation of vinyl chloride. Now what you will do? What you will do? So in order to remember the starting materials required for the preparation or synthesis of vinyl chloride also just you will write the, the starting materials for 10 to 15 times on the paper. Just literally you will memorize. No need to memorize. So, 
So in order to get the starting materials which are required for the preparation of the vinyl chloride, you have to rely or depend upon the structure of the vinyl chloride. So what is the structure of the vinyl chloride students? Structure of vinyl chloride is a CH2 double bond CH. Cl. Now, out of the two starting material, one starting material is the source of CH2 double bond CH. And uh, the second starting material is the source of this particular CL. Very easy. One stating, so we can derive the starting materials on our own. So, one of the starting material for the preparation of the vinyl chloride is this particular moiety, that is CH2 double bond CH moiety. Another, another, that is another moiety which we require is the chlorine. And the source of this chlorine is HCl. Right? So, now, the source of this CH2 double bond CH, which is one of uh, the moiety which we have to prepare is the source of this CH2 double bond CH is uh, acetylene. The source of it is acetylene. CH triple bond CH. So the source of CH2 double bond CH. CH2 double bond CH. Instead of CH2 double bond CH, what are you doing? CH triple bond CH is being taken because the source of CH2 double bond CH is a CH triple bond CH which is acetylene students. Which is acetylene. So this is one of the starting material. So is there any need to mug up or memorize the starting materials? No need. And what is our next starting material? The next starting material is the source of the chlorine. The source of the chlorine. And the source of the chlorine is HCl. Source of the chlorine is HCl. What is HCl? Already we know that. Well versed. That is hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Now this particular reaction between Acetylene, which is one of the starting material, and HCl, which is the second starting material, which is required for the preparation or synthesis of vinyl chloride, uh, takes place. The reaction between these two takes place in the presence of uh, metal chloride as the catalyst. Takes place in the presence of metal chloride as the catalyst, and uh, this reaction between acetylene and HCl occurs at uh, the temperature range of 60 to 80 degrees centigrade. 60 to 80 degrees centigrade. Now we already know the product. What is the product students? The product is this one only. So for this only, you are considering the acetylene and the HCl. So the product is CH2 double bond CH Cl which is phenyl chloride. Vinyl chloride, right? Now, so see students, I am not going to discuss uh, the elaborated uh, mechanism involved in this particular first step, uh, which is uh, resulting in the formation of uh, the vinyl chloride. But to be brief enough, I am going to explain the brief mechanism involved. Now, already I have clearly explained the uh, the basics of the mechanism in one of my video so in order to understand this particular mechanism which i have i am going to explain to you now in this particular video please do watch that video the link of that particular video is given in the description is given in the description so coming to the brief mechanism is so this ch triple bond ch so both are the bubbles the heterolytic cleavage takes place. What is the heterolytic cleavage? Everything I have explained in that particular video. Please do watch that video in order to get the, the complete knowledge about the mechanism. Now it undergo the heterolytic cleavage. So either uh, the flow of electrons takes place from uh, the left carbon to right carbon or right carbon to left carbon because both are one and same. Now do remember that. Um, the direction of arrow mark represents the flow of electrons. The direction of arrow mark represents the flow of electrons. That is, whatever um, 
the atom which is at the head part of the aromat is gaining the negatively charged electrons. It is gaining the negatively charged electrons means what will the charge obtain on it? So definitely it will be negative. So since it is at the head part of the aromat as the flow of electrons is taking place from this carbon to this carbon that is left carbon to right carbon as it is gaining the electron as it is gaining the negatively charged electrons it gets a negative charge and this left carbon is losing the negatively charged electrons as it is losing the negatively charged electrons uh, the positive charge is resulted on uh, the left carbon. Whereas the triple bond is converted to the double bond because uh, this uh, pi electrons of this triple bond uh, is shifting. So that's the reason triple bond is being converted to double bond. So CH, so triple bond is getting reduced to the double bond CH. Now already you have discussed students. So it is at the head part, hence it gets a negative charge. It gets a negative charge. Now it is at the tail part. So it gets a positive charge. It gets a negative charge. It gets a positive charge. Because always the direction of aromat represents the flow of electrons. So since the flow of electrons is towards this carbon, we can say that it is gaining the negatively charged electrons. Since it is gaining the negatively charged electrons, it gets the negative charge on it. Whereas coming to this left carbon, it is losing the electron. That is, it is losing the negatively charged electron. Since it is losing the negatively charged electrons, this particular left carbon will get the positive charge on it. Now, how to dissociate? How this uh, HCl can be dissociated? HCl can be dissociated as H plus Cl minus. Already we know that. H plus Cl minus. H plus now do remember students that always the flow of electrons takes place from electron efficient species to electron deficient species electron efficient species to electron deficient species means always uh, the flow of electrons takes place from negatively charged species to positively charged species because uh, because the flow of electrons is only possible from uh, electrons efficient species. Electron efficient species is represented by negative charge. So that is the reason, do remember that always uh, the direction of aromar will be from negative to positive. Negative to positive means uh, the excess amount of electrons which are present on the species whether it is the atom or the molecule is shifting towards uh, the electron deficient species whether it is the atom or the molecule. So negative to positive, negative to positive. So negative to positive. So accordingly, this negatively charged CH minus takes this positively charged H plus. This negatively charged always the always the direction of aromat will be from negative to positive. Negative to positive. Keep this in the mind. So what happened? CH plus CH plus and Cl. So Cl is attacking CH plus resulting in the formation of CH Cl. Next CH minus is taking H plus resulting in the formation of CH. So we got this. So this mechanism is not important from the examination point of view, but in order to understand the the reaction so precisely definitely you need to know the mechanism involved in it. So if you know the mechanism involved in it uh, without any ambiguity you can write uh, the products and the starting materials as well as the reagent as well as uh, the conditions also. Right. I hope you understood this. So we got uh, the vinyl chloride. So what is the second step students? Step 2 is The polymerization of vinyl chloride. It's the polymerization of the vinyl chloride. Now, this vinyl chloride is single unsaturated monomeric unit students. Single unsaturated monomeric unit. So already we know, we have studied during the addition or chain growth polymerization that 
single unsaturated monomeric unit undergo addition or chain growth polymerization. So since it is single unsaturated monomeric unit, it undergo addition or chain growth polymerization, CH2 double bond, CHCl. So it undergo addition or chain growth polymerization, addition or chain growth polymerization and addition or chain growth polymerization is basically initiated either by the hydrogen peroxide or benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide as the initiator what is initiator and what is the addition or chain growth polymerization i have clearly explained in my previous video please do watch those videos in order if there is any ambiguity in this particular video now during the polymerization, it is very clear that whatever the double bond is present in the monomer converts to the single bond and whatever the number which is there before the monomeric unit becomes subscript in the case of polymer. So this double bond converts to single bond and this number which is there that is N which is there becomes subscript for the polymer. So accordingly CH2, CH2 there is no change. Whereas the double bond reduces to the single bond followed by CH, Cl, there is no change in the moiety, just the double bond is getting reduced. Whereas this N, which is there before uh, this monomer unit, is converting to that is, is converting as a subscript in the polymer. So now, what is the students? It is vinyl chloride. So since vinyl chloride is a single unsaturated monomeric unit, it is undergoing addition or chain growth polymerization in the presence of benzoyl peroxide as the initiator, chain initiator resulting in the formation of polyvinyl chloride popularly known as PPC. I hope you understood this particular preparation or synthesis of the most popular uh, polymer that is uh, the polyvinyl chloride which is popularly called as polyvinyl chloride or PVC. I hope you understood this. Thank you.